Okay, and um, this is sequences for GCSE. So let's take a wee look. There's some nice simple ones. We'll read through the instructions and then try some of the questions. So a sequence is a list of terms which have a special pattern or relationship. Sometimes the pattern is obvious. Sometimes it is not. Sometimes it's quite hard to find. Look to see what the difference is between the terms. Could be add, subtract, multiply, divide. If the first difference is not the same, look at the second difference. We'll chat about that in a wee second. For the following sequences, write down a rule in words and find the next three terms. So let's take a wee look then. This one here, it looks like it's going down in fours, doesn't it? So minus four, minus four, minus four. So if we write subtract four, and then the next three terms is what they want. So 13 take away four is going to give us nine. Um, nine take away four is going to give us five, and five take away four is going to give us one. Okay. Uh, next one then, 3, 12, so what's that adding on 9? But adding on 9 there doesn't work, so that doesn't work for us. Um, Alright, okay, so 3 times 4, and then times by 4 again, and then times by 4 again. So, times by 4. This is our rule for this sequence here, and these numbers are going to get pretty big, so a bit of cheating here. So, 192 times by 4. Four. So our next term then is going to be 768. 768 times by 4 is 3072. And then 3072 times by 4 is 12288. 12288. Okay. Um, what about this one? Uh, again, kind of hard to see what's going on here. This is a bit of a tricky one. So, 4 and the 5, add 1, add 4, add 5, and then add 9. Do you see what's happening? So you're kind of adding on the previous terms, or if you want, that's the same as the previous two terms added together. So, add 2 previous terms. Hopefully you can see that, or you add on the previous terms. That's okay. So, 4 plus 5 gives me 9. 5 plus 9 gives me 14, 9 plus 14 gives me 23, 14 plus 23 then it's going to give me 37, 23 plus 37 is going to give me 60, and then 60 plus 37 is going to give me 97. Okay, next then, find the next two terms in this sequence. So... What's going on here? I guess like, yes. we'll find a gap and see how we go. Add this onto this is going to give me 15, isn't it? It is. Adding this one on this is 13. Adding this one onto this is 11. And adding this one onto this is 9. So we can now see the pattern. Sometimes it says to go to the second difference. If you look for the second difference with the difference between these numbers, it's just 2 every single time. But you guys can probably see that you're adding on 2 fewer each time. So um, our next term here. So what are we going to get from here to here? We're going to be adding on 7, aren't we? Because that there is our 2. So if we add on 7 to this, it's going to give us 59. So I'm not sure why I've written it like that. And then instead of adding on 7, so going down by two, that should really be minuses, shouldn't it? So this should all be minuses because we're no, we're not. So those are pluses. Uh, fifty nine. So we're adding on five here. Uh, so fifty nine plus five then is going to give us sixty four. Okay. And um, next page and find the next two terms in this sequence. Goodness. So what are we doing here? We are taking away three. We are taking away one. We are adding one. We are adding three. And again, if you look at the second difference here, how do you get from here to here? You add two. You add two. You add two. So we're adding on two in the second difference. So if I add on two there, then the difference is going to be five. So I'm adding on five. And this one here, it's going to take us to six. If I add on 2 here, it's going to be adding on 7 for this one, and it takes us into 13. Um, next term then is the nth term for your linear sequence. So if we look back here, 
what was my rule for this one? It was subtract four. So you take away four each time. That's great. You can just work your way up there. But if I ask you for the 50th or the 150th term, it's quite hard to work out. You kind of need to do your sums. But the nth term is a formula for us. So the nth term of a linear sequence, linear means it's the same gap each time. Uh, and the nth term of a linear sequence then, if we can work that out, it means we can work out whatever term we're looking for. So we have a wee method for doing this again. I'm not going to spend too long. You've been doing it since year eight, so you should be fairly au fait with it. So what I do is you get the sequence, and I then number them one, two, three, four, and five. And I effectively want the formula, whenever I put in the number one, I get four. Number two, I get seven. Number three, I get ten. And it should be the same formula every time. So I find the gap. 3, 3, 3, and 3. So that's the same gap every time, so that's good. So it is a linear sequence. And my clue for it then, it, it has to be 3n. I then take the number 1 and put it into the formula. 3 times 1, so I exchange my n for a 1 here. 3 times 1 gives me 3, but I want 4, so I have to add on 1. So I'm hoping the nth term in this particular case is 3n plus 1. I like to check it to make sure it works for some of the other numbers. So let's try for the number 4. 3 times 4 gives me 12 plus 1 is 13. So it has worked. So my formula then is 3n plus 1. So a quick recap on that. We're going to do another couple of examples anyway. Number them. Find the gap. That tells you what number you multiply n by. Put the number 1 into the formula and see what you have to add or subtract. And that should work for you most times. For this. Uh, find the rule for the nth term in the following sequence and use it to find the 60th term in the sequence. Okay, so what do we do? Same thing every time. It's good to get into the same way we have it. Number them. Find the gap. 4 to minus 3 is take away 7. Take away 7. Take away 7. Take away 7. So it's linear. That means my formula should be in the form minus 7n. I take the number 1 and sub it into this formula here. Substitute it in. Minus 7 times 1 gives me minus 7. I don't want minus 7. I want 4. So I have to add on 11. Make sure it works for all your other numbers. Let's try for the number 3. Just for example. 3 minus 7 times 3 gives me minus 21. Plus 11 gives me minus 10. So the formula does work. Find the rule for the nth term. This is our nth term in the following sequence and use it to find the 60th term in the sequence. This formula holds, this is the nth term. If we want the fourth term, we sub in the number four. If we want the fifth term, we sub in the number five. We want the 60th term. So we're going to do minus seven times by 60 plus 11. That's minus 420. Plus 11. <laughs> Can't write here. Uh, and that gives us, what's that going to Minus 409. So minus 409 then should be our 60th term. Find the rule for the nth term in the following sequence. Which term in the sequence will equal 77? So we'll deal with the second wee bit and then we second, but we want the nth term, same as before. Same rules every time. Number them. 1, 2, 3. You don't have to circle them. I think it looks a bit better. Find the gap. 5, 5, 5, and 5. That means our formula is 5n plus or minus something. I substitute the number 1 into this formula here. Change my n for a 1. 5 times 1 gives me 5, but I want 2. So it should be 5n minus 3. Um, let's try it for the number 4. 5 times 4 gives me 20. Take away 3 is 17. So it looks like it works. This question is kind of backwards from our previous example, but we still should be okay. Some number, whenever you put it into this formula and work it all out, it gives us 77. For example, if we put the number 3 into this formula, it gives us 12. But some number is 77, so we set up 5n minus 3 equals 77. Back to year 8, solving our equations, we are going to add 3 on the both sides. 5n equals 80, and then divide by 5, we get n equals 16. So 16 
we think is a number that's going to work. You can check it to make sure you're right, but obviously it's just backwards version of this. It'll make sense whenever you do it. Sub in the number 16. So substitute in 16 for this. 5 times 16 gives me 80. Take away 3 is 77. So it has worked for us.